All right, good morning. Uh, we are We Are Just Reddit. I am Jason, and this is Devansh. Uh, so we'll talk about uh, our project. And a lot of you have seen and heard about Reddit. And the introduction to our product, project is basically to create some sort of classifier to take in a candidate Reddit post and predict the sub-community from which it came from. So Reddit's organization is a community-based forum, which is split into a number of sub-communities where users can share and discuss about posts or links that they find communally interesting. So ideally, we want people in those communities to not have to deal with uh, posts from, that are unrelated or it could be a waste of their time. So this would be an effective way to make sure that all the content is relevant and useful for everybody. So this is essentially what our model tries to do. Um, as I described, it's a text classification problem, which has been studied. But with the recent popularization or repopularization of LSTMs and GRUs, um, NLP has become a, an exciting new field, which is why we decided to try those networks and uh, implement them in our model. All right, so for the data processing, we used the Prowl package, which is a Python wrapper for the Reddit API. And we can use that to quickly access all the, a lot of data on Reddit. So what we have done is we use a, a training data set of 600 samples from a total of 16 different subreddits. And that gives us 900 different, 9,600 different posts to train from. Um, so a, a data sample basically essentially consists of the Reddit post and its title. And we chose to use the title of the Reddit post because this has allowed us, allows us to access different communities that are not purely text-based. For example, we can get posts from sports or space and also use that data because sometimes they contain images in the post and we want to be able to classify all of them. Um, so for the actual data processing uh, procedure, we took the text and we essentially normalized it to make sure uh, all the inputs have a sort of fair playing field. So what we've done is we have taken the input text and we've removed all the special characters. Uh, we also went through and removed all the sub subreddit prefixes. For example, certain posts have uh, certain prefixes to designate that they're posted to a certain, certain subreddit. And we also removed all the capitalization. And so for example, we can see this is a post that's been processed. And this comes from the subreddit life pro tips. And here is a list of all the subreddits that we are classifying from. So you can see we have a diverse range of different uh, interests. For example, there's jokes, science, history. And basically, this is what we're trying to do to you know, represent uh, you know, the whole of Reddit. OK, so uh, when we started this project, our backgrounds weren't that strong. We weren't that experienced. So we weren't exactly sure which models to approach and what would be the best way to even attack a problem like this. So what our approach was to try out a number of different models and see how we could do in terms of performance, basically comparing them with as much time as we had available to us. For the baseline, we took something that was very inspired from assignments four and five. We took a tokenizer, a very popular tokenizer called Spacey, to tokenize the Reddit posts. And then we converted them into word vectors using the, Stan the Stanford glove embeddings. We took the average of them and trained a multi-layer uh, multi perceptron classifier in order to see how good we could get. Um, these, we have the architecture laid out on the screen and the activations uh, listed as well. What, our first attempt was to use a CNN. The logic behind this was that we have multiple kernels which look at different words in strings. So ideally, a CNN might be able to pick up some of the syntax. For example, some of the word structure that might be more common towards subreddits that might have question-based, like question-answer-based things like ask science, ask history. Um, and after we had our two kernels with, again, the architecture laid out for you, uh, we put that into a, a layer and to go to a prediction, essentially. And the next model we use is a simple RNN. So we have basically wanted to use this because it is the, mostly the standard for natural language processing. So we close an input string. And uh, RNN has 100 hidden dimensions with a simple RNN cell and 16 outputs for the prediction. And oh, we also use the GRU, which is sort of a more advanced version. Uh, it's the exact same model, except we use, instead of a simple RNN cell, we use the GRU cell. So talking about results, since we have a multi-classifier, we decided that some of the, some of the <coughs> metrics that we use, such as precision and recall, might not be the best in our case. Uh, specifically, we have 16 subreddits, so we'd have like, uh, almost a, like, over 100 different comparisons for each pairwise comparison. So we're uh, going by accuracy. To remove bias, we took data to make sure we had an equal number from each class. And these are uh, the plots as of when we created this presentation. So for our baseline, um, you can see most of them are training. The CNN is clearly overfitting. We'll talk about that in discussion. Uh, so the testing accuracy for the baseline, we got uh, around 47%. Uh, 
The CNN got up to 61, but again, you can see it's overfitting. The RNN was 57%, and the GRU was our best model at 80. Since then, it's now at 85. It's still improving. So about the things, we, the, the baseline has about as much success as, we, as we'd expect. The CNN, it is a slight improvement. Um, again, one of the biggest things was the problem between like, w taking a text post like this, max pooling was not exactly an option. So we had to take the max, which introduces a lot of error. Uh, we can explain more like, later. Um, for the RNNs, again, we have uh, increased accuracy due to short-term memory. And the GRU is even a uh, further improvement since it implements long-term memory. Uh, and here's over, <coughs> this is one of the input posts that we had. And one of the things that was very surprising is that we found out how much punctuation matters. For example, here on the left, we can see this question, how much mass does the sun have? It has a question mark, and the GRU thinks it's ask science. And over here, without a question mark, it actually somehow thinks it's part of, from a jokes subreddit. So, and this makes sense for the context of the GRU because posts at, or sorry, um, the words at the end of the sentence are weighed more for that model. Uh, so this is, and this is our confusion matrix, and you can see it's largely symmetric, which means there are classes which are innately similar to each other, as opposed to a certain misclassification. So specifically over here and over here, and you can see like, the, the biggest error areas match up on both sides. That's, okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, interesting. Uh, just one thing, checking, just think, uh, on your data, you're only looking at the title of the of the post. Is that what you said? Uh, yes. Yeah. Right. Um, so, uh, like the that's fine. Uh, that's the only question I had on that. Can, can you explain what you meant about Max Pool losing um, information? Yeah. Excellent. So uh, when we have when we originally looked at an image, uh, all of like when when pooled over the image, the results from a convolutional layer was a filter map over which we could condense down. If you have a text post which ends at a specific point, and say compared with another text post that's twice as long, after you do a convolutional layer of that, the, the filter map is going to differ by about half of the size. So if you decided to take a max pool of that, you'd be shrinking each of those filter maps by like one half or some, some constant factor again, which doesn't exactly, it doesn't maintain the, the size requirements as the input into the multilayer perceptron. So instead, what we had to do was use a max instead of a max pool, where we take the, the largest, the most significant uh, filter and use that as our max pool. So it loses some information um, since we don't have the exact thing. Okay. But, yeah. So one last quick question. You, you picked widths of three, kernel sizes of three and four, words of three and four. What, um, was that by experiment, or just that's where you started and where you ended? Uh, that's our experiment. Yeah, that was by experiment. Uh, since so we then, compare the accuracies with different, uh, multiple different um, kernel sizes. Okay, great. Since they've changed to 3 and 5. Uh, what loss were you using? I don't think I saw it written anywhere. Oh, uh, for... Oh, the loss was off the island. No, that, that's the off the island. Oh, okay. For the okay. loss, Sorry. it was uh, cross entropy. So cross entropy. Classifier thing. Okay. okay. Great. Any questions, comments? All right, thank you.